Hello Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. This is going to be looking at the current energies between you and the individual concerned. I'm going to be going through each of the energies very briefly and then I'm going to clarify. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. As you can see, I've already shuffled the cards and we can begin. So the first card that I'm looking at is showing to me that during this period of time, there's this element of communication which is being illuminated. So if you're not talking to this individual, it could be going into the very last conversation that you had with this person. That is definitely being brought up by spirit during this time. It's being highlighted. It's being emphasized. With this particular card, it feels like Perhaps the two of you were having a conversation, interacting with each other, engaging with one another, and then something may have happened, okay? This could be an influx of communication coming towards you. It could also represent communication that has already happened. So keep an open mind. I'm seeing you with this energy that there's this element of competitiveness. It could also be linked to... You know, looking at a situation and thinking of it from a win-lose perspective, not from a win-win perspective. And with that, I mean, it feels as if there was a lot of um, emphasis placed on saving face and not really thinking about the other person's needs. It feels as if, you know, one individual was trying to either pull the wool over the eyes for the other person this is an energy where it's linked to antagonizing the other person to get a reaction. And sometimes communication, withholding it, can antagonize a reaction. Even saying certain things to trigger certain reactions can occur between couples, especially if you know uh, the individual very deeply. So I feel like the combination of these energies is talking about a lot of passion, but it's also talking about this very fast moving energy, which is linked to, you know, knowing how to throw the blows when you need to, when it comes to a confrontation or an argument. So this is being highlighted right now. Maybe there was a passive aggressive approach. There's a, you know, a very complex nature to people. And with these two cards in combination, it feels as if you know, maybe the two of you were going at it with each other and uh, things were getting out of hand. It was getting heated. It was getting difficult to deal with. And uh, I feel like there wasn't the ability to see beyond this. Because when you get caught up in the moment, when you're really arguing with a person, it's just a waste of energy. But it feels as if there's a need to prove a point. And that's what I'm getting from these two cards here. There was a need to prove a point and maybe it went too far. This could also be highlighting other elements here that could have occurred between you and this individual, such as misunderstandings, you know, facing a dilemma where you're not being heard. Now, this is another issue that could have come up between you and this person concerned, because sometimes you're talking and talking and you're wondering if the other individual is really listening to you or if you're talking to the wall, okay? So something was happening here between the two of you. Let's begin the clarification process. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. Okay, so I see that initially during the course of conversation, one individual was sticking to their guns. They had an approach that they were following. It could border on the element of being stubborn and taking this sort of viewpoint where they feel as if they know what they are talking about. And it feels like an element of determination coming through here. And it feels as if someone felt as if they weren't getting anywhere with the other individual. So when it comes to communicating with each other, it felt as if it was going around in circles. And there's this element of 
regret regret coming up you know perhaps there was regret about certain things that were said or done before and then this discussion came up and it was going back and forth between the two of you i feel like where things stand right now there's a lot of um unhappiness over the situation it's like one individual just wants to be by themselves they don't really want to talk this may have proven to be incredibly difficult for you, especially if you, you know, want to have a conversation with this individual and they're pushing you away or they're keeping you at a distance and they don't want to open up. They don't want to uh, give you any sort of indication of where they stand or what they want from you. So I feel like for many of you, you could be feeling like, what do you do at this point? How do you move forward with this individual when they're not seeing reason or giving you a chance to explain or a chance to, you know, really discuss this matter? Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier, but I'm picking up this energy from this individual you're dealing with and it's revolving around bottling up energy, you know, not really expressing, displaying, not giving a leeway in terms of this um, connection. This could have been very difficult, right? And before, things were much more different. It felt as if the two of you would give each other chances. But right now, look what you're facing. This could be an ending. It could be a change of the situation, the demise of a relationship that could have been salvaged had a different approach been taken. Had you known how to truly, you know, discuss certain issues or to address what's really the problem here, yeah, okay? So it feels like that sort of energy where the real trouble that was occurring between you and this individual was the thing that didn't have a solution at hand. It was uh, the element that should have been fixed but was denied. So sometimes it can be very frustrating when you're dealing with a connection with an individual and you truly want to make things work. But um, the more you try to approach it, the more difficult it becomes. Now, when I look at this energy here, it talks about things that happened in the past. But it feels like there's another energy connected to it. Let's clarify. Feels like one individual got so ingratiated with their behavior and patterns because they were always standing on their feet, always, um, you know, doing their own sort of things, not really aware of the other person's feelings and emotions. So what I'm sensing here is that even during the course of the relationship, there were times when you felt completely isolated. There were times when you felt as if the person you love and care about wasn't really receptive to some of the turmoil you were experiencing. And this may have made you feel as if, you know, you're not being heard here. Yeah, I feel like things were moving very slow in the relationship. You may have discussed this with this individual. There's something that was discussed in the past that, you know, you had to bring up because it was making you feel impatient. And it feels like you had this element of confusion about where you stood with this person. Perhaps you felt as if they weren't being completely um, upfront with you. It feels as if they were either making you feel isolated or they were disappointing you in some shape or form and it was bringing you a lot of sadness so whatever that can be you know it can be a whole range of factors whatever this uh, individual was doing towards you really did make you feel like you don't know where you stand with them you don't know how to move forward with this person for many of you you're still looking for a way to approach the situation and it's quite clear that there's been some form of a breakup that has occurred in this connection between you and this person concerned I feel like many of you could be trying to figure out where do you go from here because you're not happy with how things stand but what's going to happen in this connection? Your fear is that they may not say anything or that they may withdraw from your life and disappear.
Now there's a lot of stress about trying to make a decision regarding this connection. It feels like it's getting overwhelming and some of you are looking for, you know, a way out of this uh, silence between the two of you. I feel like some of you are feeling restricted because you can't make a move. All you're doing right now is thinking about this individual, but you're unable to do what your instincts want you to do in this situation because this individual hasn't left that door open. Yeah, I feel like some of you could be looking at the past and studying it and trying to understand it and trying to have a very, uh, you know, deeper perspective on it. But there's a part of you that feels almost defensive on an emotional level. It's like, this is a very touchy topic. You don't know how to approach it again. Uh, you're still lost in your world where you're thinking about what happened between the two of you. They're still loving your heart for this person. But on an emotional level, you're feeling defensive. You're feeling closed off. You're feeling as if you don't know if you can trust or you can open up again. Something has changed in terms of your nature because I feel like you haven't been able to follow your natural instincts. And there's this element of confusion where you're not able to really figure out which is the right way to go. Okay. What I'm also seeing here is that the situation is a mess. There's a lot of elements here that have made things complicated, made things uh, more difficult than it should have been. And it feels like some of you are very fearful of this individual not opening up. So what I'm picking up from this individual's soul energy right now is that there's elements here that have triggered them. There's also aspects that they haven't been able to face because they are in denial of it. I'm picking up this energy of where this individual doesn't want to face the truth or doesn't want to face the reality of what has happened between the two of you. And they're sort of burying their head in the sand, not wanting to take it out and look at what is really going on. From your energy, I'm seeing that you feel as if time is running out, okay? I can feel this anticipation, this anxiety inside of your energy, and it's making you very antsy. It's making you very uncomfortable with what is really going on between you and this person concerned. There's a lot of grief here surrounding how this love connection turned. There's turmoil, there's chaos, there's havoc. There's uncertainty over whether the two of you can come back together and celebrate this connection, this relationship that the two of you have with each other. So what I'm going to be looking at in the extended reading is exploring. What is this individual feeling? What are they going through? What is the right way going back to this individual? Is there anything that this person has to say to you? What would they say to you if they could? You know, And how should you respond to what they have to say to you? Whether you should reach out to them, etc.? I'll also be evaluating their soul energy on a much deeper level to see what's really going on in their conscious mind and how are they processing the situation. You can find the link in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day and take care.